Hi there, I'm Jen, this is Remembered Reads, and I guess this is going to be- this is ridiculous. And I guess this is going to be a reading rush vlog. We'll see how this goes. I don't know that I'm really doing this. Monday, day one. My dog decided he needed to go for a walk at 4.15 in the morning. Please appreciate how no one else is up this early. Fortune for your disaster. Poems. By Hanif Abdurraqib. Read by Hanif Abdurraqib. Cutter. I knew a sailor once. Got tangled in the rigging. We pulled him out, but it took him five minutes to cough. He said it was like going home. If we're connected on Goodreads, you will have seen that I gave this five stars. And normally I would talk about, I don't know, the rhythm and the meter and the word choice and something else. But in this case, I have basically nothing objective to say in my gushing. This includes a poem that is about <laughs> seeing the movie Logan in the middle of the day in an empty cinema alone while like nursing heartbreak and I thought I don't know how many other people had that experience <laughs> but reading a poem about that I thought this can only get five stars there's nowhere else we can go with that so yeah <laughs> So I finished a graphic memoir earlier, and that was Cena Grace's Nothing Lasts Forever, which is really interesting stylistically. Like he's a comic book writer who had been basically working as an artist on other people's stories, and more recently is a writer with other artists on kind of bigger name stories. And this memoir is sort of at a midpoint in his career, and it's basically an, a drawing journal slash life journal of his day-to-day -day life while he's going through some serious digestive issues as well as working out his romantic and career life. Because it's a journal, it's not particularly story-driven or anything like that, but I really liked it. I liked the simplicity of the art and how, uh, if I have a complaint, my complaint is going to be that it's all done in the style of pencil drawings, so it's really light. Uh, and really faint. I read it as an ebook through Hoopla, and because I read some of it outside, it was kind of hard to read some of the text because it was so faint. But that is a pretty minor complaint. Uh, yeah, two thumbs up. I'm a big fan of using random items as bookmarks, and clearly so was the last person who read this library book, because this track and field participant school ribbon was inside. So I am almost finished. I should be finished this afternoon with uh, the silence tape, which is this um, with this memoir that I'm reading that is of a period in the Soviet period in Kazakhstan where collectivization came in and there was a massive famine, basically an engineered famine similar to the one that happened in Ukraine in the same time in the 30s. And this author was someone whose father had owned a couple of horses and as a result was seen as a counter-revolutionary and that interrupted his education and it's just, anyway, really fascinating stuff. At the point that I'm in now, he's off fighting in the Second World War, so they've moved past that. But yeah, it's really good stuff. I haven't read, um, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos where we talk about demographic things. I haven't read a lot of stuff from the Central Asian former Soviet Republic, so this is very interesting. And um, and interestingly written in a really um, just the facts kind of style, so it's much less depressing than you would expect something that's in this style to be, which is interesting too. So I just finished a graphic novel called After the Spring, a story of Tunisian youth, which has the idea of being a slice of life book that's set in the summer of 2013. And it's about people who are university aged, working out their lives, mostly in Tunis, and a few people have families in the countryside, which is a great idea, but the book itself is really underwhelming. Um, nothing really happens. Uh, the characters 
aren't differentiated in a way that's particularly interesting. The drawing style is very simplistic. So that was disappointing because normally a book that's kind of on the periphery of historic events is something that I really enjoy, but this was not good. <laughs> I yeah. just realized that I've been paying no attention to the challenges that are actually involved in this. I think one of them is to read things outside. I think I should have included videos that showed I did read a bunch of things outside. Uh, there was a birthstone challenge. My birthday is in February, which is Amethyst. This is the only purple book that I own. This is volume one of The Old Guard. I talked about the sequel to this in the mid-year freakout tag. So I guess I have to reread this. <laughs> Conveniently, I think one of the other Challenges is something that's been made into a movie that you've seen, and I did just watch the Netflix adaptation of this that came out a couple weeks ago. So that checks those boxes. So it starts with the word the, which I think is another one, but I have already read at least one book that started with the, maybe two, I don't know. In any case, I think this is enough. I don't think I'm gonna film anything else for this vlog, so it's only Friday. I'm just gonna load this today and call it a day, even though we still have the weekend. Anyway, um, if you're taking part in the reading rush, how is it going? If you're not, are you annoyed by all the videos people are making for this? <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, have a good weekend. Ciao.